are going to throw right away. Complete. It's Johnson. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. 12 yards there. Good for a Saints first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara. Now inside the 25, Alvin Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara, 57 yards. And the Saints march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech. But I will guarantee you, somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Purdy will set up to throw it here. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name. But I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that will draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Purdy to throw it on first down. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards, the pickup, first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Got a man, that's you. And he goes down, but not before he gets his inside the 25. 25 yards there on the catch and run. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first down, Purdy. He's got Ayuk once again. Touchdown! Touchdown with one of their own. Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You have a lot to handle in this one. Moody good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. He 
each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and five. Now it's the veteran Jamal Williams. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10 to throw his car. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. And when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. 7-7, our score after one. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Up the gut, McCaffrey. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Eight yards here, so that gets him back within striking distance. And now it's third down. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Purdy with it on third and long. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Jerron Jennings, a 16-yard 
touchdown. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit, in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They set up the screen to middle. A good convergence there defensively, only a yard and it's second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. To throw, it's Carr. Eluding the pressure right. Finding middle once more, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A game there of 30 big ones. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on the wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Here's Johnson with a reception. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Williams will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Touchdown, New Orleans. Here's Groupie for the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's in for the touchdown. Just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Are we cool to do it here in football, pardon? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they'll continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. 
It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to learn what they saw in that first half. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First target, first catch, and a first down. Purdy looking to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jennings. He's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And he is caught. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 25-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him, find him. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Purdy from the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 19 yards that time for number 19. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. Back to throw, Purdy. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked off by Alante Taylor. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone, possibly get it. And now the rookie screen. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That's good for 28 yards. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Kamara try the right side, and they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and ten. 
Here's Carr to throw. Into the hands of Perry, complete. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, New Orleans! A.T. Perry, 67 yards. And the Saints are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Ryan Bruzzi fought in and got him down. Well, at least it wasn't a turnover like the last drive. You'd think they'd make an adjustment and be ready to make up for that turnover. Instead, just another big play for the defense on that snap. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. A nice job of just sticking the helmet down nine yards on the play, but still third and 12 now. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll be well short of a first down as he stopped again right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Purdy on fourth down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Loose inside the 30, inside the 10, and he gets it all the way down to the three. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. McCaffrey will score. Touchdown for the Just power football there with Daniel in the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen coming out to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. On a huge mistake late, it's intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. I'm not sure I'm absolutely crazy about that play call there. I mean, it's only one score game, so is it really time to go bombs away and try and make a big play? I think you can take some underneath stuff and still move it downfield. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. 
And his kick is good. And that will make this a nine-point lead. So that one's going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Here's first and ten. Six eighteen. Here's Carr. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Final 90 seconds here. It's second and 10. Throwing his car. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. Well, they're not going to go quietly. That's a big play right there. Two scores down, they're not out of this, but they've got to move. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. time left on the clock after that incompletion so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap because once the ball's in motion it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off everyone better be on the same page right now because I think and down he goes the 49ers get there the Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now Carr. That's caught by Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown, but probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Groupie for the extra point. down to two. The clock showing 19 seconds to go. And it's the 49ers who recover it. And that ought to just about do it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Pretty so complete here to IU. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, Lavage should just about put a camera on this game. And that touchdown, Charles, with very little time remaining, boy, it just sucked any energy and momentum out of the other sideline. Yeah, take an incredible comeback in the final minute to bring this one back to even. A great series there offensively. They saw an opportunity to slam the window shut, and they followed through. So the inability there to get the two-point conversion sort of leaves the door at least a little bit more ajar. And puts the onus now on the kickoff team and the defense to make sure they don't give up a big play that puts them in position to lose. Especially on this kickoff. Got to be careful. And 
the Saints hands team able to rein this one in. Yeah, you got to wait until that ball goes 10 yards. They did not. They hit it before, and that draws the flag every time. And there's no doubt in my mind that converting an onside kick has never been tougher in the NFL with the new rules. So trying to get it to 10 yards, timing up perfectly, that's tough enough to begin with. But when you go ahead and grab it before it goes, you've got no shot then. And throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Now try again here, second and 10. One final try now for Carr. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes. 